Hello everyone! Welcome back! So today for our video this week we are going to be doing a little bit of a craftier video. I don't really have anything to unbox this week. For this video we are going to be setting up my fan sign binder. So in my previous Baiyi haul I did unbox that I did get one of these Muji binders. So it is a 30 ring binder and I also received these pocket pages. Collect Leaf, I believe is what the brand is. But basically these are one pocket pages and what I plan to do is, as you can see right in front of me, I have every single album that I have that is a fan sign album, which they take up a lot of space, I will say. Like as my fan sign albums have grown over the years, they really do just take up a lot of space and the pages on the inside are very few and far between that are actually signed. So what I plan to do is to create a binder where I can specifically look at my fan signs. So that way all of these signed pages are protected and they are all in one spot instead of all these separate albums taking up a lot of space on my shelf. What I plan to do, number one, get this all set up and then I want to probably decorate this binder. So that's kind of what I plan to do. The materials that we need today are number one, Muji binder, number two, one pocket pages. This is just, this is kind of just a decorative touch, but I got this paper that is like a marbled design. I'll probably get some of my stickers out to decorate the front cover. We have my handy dandy washi tape, so that way I can tape the pages onto the pages, if that makes sense. I have my X-Acto knife, and then also I have my paper cutter. First of all, let's see if we can take this sticker off the front cover. Okay, there we go. We have a new clear binder. I did take some of the pages out of their packaging just to test how they would look in here. I only bought three packs of these to test this out, so I definitely will not have enough pages for every single fan sign, but we will try and see. In a future video, I'll probably buy more of these. They're kind of hard to come by. You can't really buy them besides Mercari Japan, but I believe that these are also the pages that a lot of collectors use for like the uh, SM Seasons Greetings, like a4 pages. So we have all of the pages in the binder and there's still a good amount of space left so we do love that. Okay so I'm gonna push these off to the side because we will get to that in a little bit but basically what I plan to do number one I want to go in order of when I got the fan sign so we're going to start with my oldest fan signs which are my love bomb fan sign slots I have these Jihan ones also from fun factory eras since these are already kind of like set up in like a spread I'm gonna just go ahead and replace the white paper with this marbled paper so that all of them look nice. I'm going to be doing back to back for a lot of these fan signs just to just go ahead and take that little paper off. I'm gonna do it this way for sideways ones. So, yep. These were my first ever fan sign pages. We love it so much. This video is probably just going to be me kind of focusing a lot, so I don't know if I'll be talking a lot. Okay, one of my main concerns for these fan signs is that some washi tapes are a lot stronger than other washi tapes. I don't want my pages to get ripped or anything, so I'm going to be using this small washi tape that I have in hopes that it won't be as strong as the other ones and that it won't um, transfer colors very much because what I have found in the past is that some washi tapes transfer onto the paper. So I'm going to hope that it doesn't. So there is the first fan sign page. We'll put these in the binder probably at the end. So we have number one. These, however, I think are going to be a little bit too big for the paper behind it. What I want to do is straighten out the lines in the paper, so... And then... Let's 
go ahead and do this one as well. These are so gorgeous. I forgot how pretty this, I love this concept. Let's make these even. I actually don't remember which one of these I got first. So with these ones, it doesn't really matter to me which one goes first. So now it fits nicely on the marble. You can see the marbling on the back. I'm just gonna use like maybe two pieces of tape. Okay, so that is one side. Let's go ahead and do the other. Alrighty, so we have number two. Let's go ahead and put them away. So these are the first pages that I have that obviously we're not um in albums all the rest of my fan signs after this are all in albums and as you can see there is a little bit of space up at the top but honestly it doesn't really bother me that much i think mostly i just really like how this looks this is looking really nice i'm very happy Okay, so there we have that. As we go, we'll go ahead and just put them in the binder. Okay, so the next album that we have to start with is My Little Society. So we have four My Little Society albums. These are not OT9 signed, however, because during My Little Society era, they did unit fan signs. So this was their first era doing uh, video call fan signs and basically they split them into three units. They did the my unit, the little unit, and the society unit. Um, but depending on which uh, store you applied for, they changed the units and the members in the units. So I won four fan signs, but I believe I talked to Seron and Jihan twice. So Ion was not in these fan signs, so I don't have any pages for her. And then previously I have bookmarked the pages so that'll help me with this as you can see uh, a lot of the fan signs don't have a picture with them so I don't know if I want to like I don't know how I want to do this I'm so nervous about this I'm very stressed as I ha I have a paper cutter I just have to remind myself I already have a paper cutter so if it's not even we can just fix it there we have Sedom. I kind of want to cut out a picture of her as well. Like, to go along with the era. I think this is actually my last fan sign. Is this Jihan? Yep. Okay. Yeah, so... <laughs> she spelled my last name wrong. <laughs> but, um, yes. So, this was my last fan sign for this era. And the closer I can get it to the spine, the better, because I want to keep most of the page intact. Okay, that is Jihun. And then let's find a picture for Jihun. I could use this one. This one's really, really cute, but this one is so cute. Oh my goodness. Now this does stress me out a little bit, cutting all of these fan sign pages out, but when I think about my fan signs, I don't really flip through them very often because they're all stuck in these big clunky books and they honestly annoy me to like take out. So I don't end up looking through them and I want to. So that's why I'm creating this binder in the first place. I think I just want the picture of this one. So we're just gonna try and cut the picture out. So we have a picture of Jihan for this one. Let's go ahead and straighten out this line. And then for this one, let's go ahead and fix this page. Okay, 
And those pages are even. And then this Sedom picture. I'm sorry, Sedom, but I'm going to chop off your head. Marie Antoinette style. And that would be kind of cute. I'm so sorry, Sedom. Oh. And I'm doing this so that I can have a picture, like a visual of how she looked in the era when I talked to her. I don't want to tape this picture to this because I am afraid that it will bleed onto the white paper so I'm just going to kind of stick this tape a little bit on the lower end. That way I have a little visual of how she looked. And this picture is a little bit bigger so it does kind of cover the signature but that doesn't bother me very much. that one. Ta -da! This one also has two. So I believe that this is my Hayoung and Makyong. Yes. This one she signed very very close to the edge, so I can't I don't have a lot of room to cut. Well, this one has a picture of Hayoung on it, so I'm not going to go ahead and cut out any of the other pages. And then this one, <laughs> unfortunately, does not have a picture of her, so we will be cutting. And then I think that this would be a perfect picture. I'm not going to waste the albums, the fan sign albums. I'm actually going to use the pictures from, like, the pages from the albums that I have cut out and I will use those in my trades and sales as cords. Now we move into the My Society version. I really like this picture of her, so I wanna use that one. And then it looks like I accidentally cut this out, so we'll just use that picture. And here is Jason. I don't really mind having it not in age order when it comes to these fan signs because I because these were all like separate fan signs they were all like unit ones but 
if it's like an OT9 fan sign, I will be putting an age order with these ones. I'm just going to do age order within the unit. So Giri was the oldest in this particular unit. And then since this one only had three people, we're gonna go ahead and just put the other unit on the next page. The next era we have is Nine Way Ticket. These ones are um, OT9, or no, are they? I don't think so. Oh, I think that these ones are still units. Okay, so this is, they're still doing units for this one.
forgot that I was going to do these in age order.
All right, um, I have like almost two hours worth of footage currently, and I still have a lot of pages to go and a lot of albums to go. So I think what I'm going to do is go ahead and do the rest of them off camera. I hope you guys understand what I'm doing because th this video would be way too long, <laughs> even sped up. So I will go ahead and finish up the rest of the pages that I have currently, and then I'll meet you guys back here for a final update. All right, everyone, I have finished up with this binder. So I ran out of pages completely. I actually still have one more Promise album and then all of my Adora fan signs to store, but that's gonna have to be separate because I, like I said, I don't have any more pages. So I decorated this with some little rose stickers and then it just says my fan signs. I thought it was a really cute little touch. Okay, so we'll just kind of show you how it looks. Sorry for the lighting. I'll try and lift it up so you can't see it. But these are Love Bomb. Fun Factory. And we get into My Little Society. So anytime that there's a signed page that doesn't have a picture of the member, I decided to put a little picture of them so that I could remember how they looked during that era, like what their hair color was, you don't know. You know, like the makeup style. I don't know. I just thought it would be a really cute little touch. So Serum, Jihan, Hayoung. I just think that they're so cute. This one is very, very dark, but it's Jiwon, so. Then we move into Nine Way Ticket. This is when they started signing pictures of themselves a lot more frequently. These ones are some of my absolute favorites. These are so pretty. This one. Oh, this one is so, so stunning. Then we move into Talk and Talk. This is where, so on this page, Jiwon accidentally scribbled or like smudged her pen. So she wrote, oops, sorry. So I have the full page in this. And this goes into Midnight Guest. I only did one fan sign for Midnight Guest era. I actually really like these pages, how they're like half blank, but then they do have a picture of the member. And then, yes, the girls love to say my name in Hangul. This, um, this starts from our Memento Box. I have two from our Memento Box albums, but I only have one stored. Um, but these are sideways, so this uh, this serum one says, I heart you, baby. I think it's so freaking cute. I absolutely love these. The pictures are so nice. And then this, I still, to this day, don't know why it says OMG, and then I don't know what she drew here. I really don't. It looks like an umbrella, and then, I don't know. Very weird. Love it, though. She's so cute. I absolutely love these. This picture is funny because it's just her legs and then like a picture of her. And then this is Nakyang and then the last Jihan. So this binder is honestly pretty full. This is just 30 pages of fan signs and it's already pretty thick. So honestly, I will probably have to buy another binder to fit all of the other fan sign pages that I have. Um, but so far, I absolutely love how this turned out. I really like this. I really like 
how I did this idea because rather than having to flip through a huge album to look at my fan signs, I can just grab this binder and look directly at whichever fan sign I want to look at. I really like this. It's also very space saving in my opinion. So let me know what your thoughts are on this binder. Thank you so much for watching if you stuck around this long and yeah. I will see you guys later. I love you so much. Goodbye.